Uh, welcome everyone to the select board meeting of Monday, December 16th, 2019. I'm Diane M. Mahan. To my right, your left is John Hurd, Joe Curo, Steve DeCourcy, Adam Chapdelaine, town manager, Doug Hahn, town council. And we're starting this meeting at approximately 6 p.m. Mr. Dunn um, is en route. Uh, this is our sort of year end uh, cleanup business before 2020 comes in. That's why the meeting is starting at 6 p.m. and we have somewhat of an abbreviated agenda. Uh, the first item is the consent agenda, minutes of meeting, October 28, 2019, December 2nd, 2019. Request con contractor Dreyer's license, Samina Contracting Corps, Stoneham, Mass, 7 Daniel Drive, request contractor drain layer license, lock and unlock and development, 7 unlock 709 Lowell Street, Methuen, Mass. Request contractor drain layer license. Super Service Today, Inc. 4 Jewel Drive, Wilmington, Mass. Request special one day all alcohol license 123119 at the Whittemore Robbins House for a private event. Request Monotomy Grill and Tavern late night event 1231 2019 to 11 2020. Um, is there a motion to approve? Move approval subject to all conditions are set forth. Move by Second. Mr. Carroll, seconded by Mr. Second. Heard. Any further questions or comments? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, unanimous votes. We now go into our appointment of our newly appointed Human Rights Commission uh, member, Rajiv Sonija. If you could come up, say your name correctly, I apologize. <laughs> um, and Mr. Kiro um, made the motion to appoint, and but this is our yes. first face to face. Right. Uh, my name is Rajiv Soneja. Uh, I'm a resident of Arlington since 2005. Um, I have moved to this country as an immigrant from uh, India where I grew up in Bombay, or now called Mumbai. Um, I moved here in the, to the US in 98, so I've been here for a few, fair few years now. Um, I don't know how much do you want me to say in terms of as an introduction or why I applied for the AHR. Why you applied, uh, hope, what you hope to bring to the commission, whatever you Sure. So firstly, I want to thank the select board for allowing me this opportunity to serve as I belatedly appear before this uh, meeting because I was appointed a month ago. I've already attended a meeting since then. Um, thank you to the town manager as well for the interview process and uh, going through with uh, meeting with the director of the HHS as well. So thank you to her too. Um, I, as I explained, I grew up in Bombay and um, uh, India is uh, home to a variety of religions, ethnicities, cultures, practices, and growing up in such a cosmopolitan city allowed me to view the diversity and plurality of thought and opinions, but also made me aware of all the different minorities and people who are discriminated against for a variety of reasons. I could uh, view upfront their resilience, but also the idea that they have to be supported by thoughts and action. And with that intention is why I appear before this meeting to serve as a commissioner for the Human Rights Commission. Um, over the past few years in Arlington, I have tried to involve myself in the community by um, uh, volunteering for the diversity task group, which is a great way to sort of foster diversity and inclusion in the community. They do some great work in trying to um, appreciate every point or viewpoint of um, opinion from all aspects of Arlington's populations. I've also involved myself with the diversity and inclusion groups, which are parent-led groups at the school system to allow for the same, the diversity and inclusion of all aspects of uh, populations to be uh, heard. So it was that with same intention, I want to carry on that work with the Arlington Human Rights Commission. So as we are all well aware with all the upheavals that are happening and all the recent issues, not just in Arlington, but all over the world, these are sort of reflected back into our community. So I just wanna be able to carry that work forward, which I've been doing with the diversity task group, as I talked to the town manager at my meeting as well, just sort of form a link with all the various different activities that are happening and I want to be able to do so, continue to do so. I got so. a little boost of energy from all that enthusiasm. <laughs> you certainly are uh, uh, 
well prepared and um, you, I know you'll be, well you've already served at one meeting uh, as a commissioner. And you're right, it's not just um, Arlington, it's unfortunately nationwide if not globally. So um, um, I know you'll bring a lot to the table as do the other commissioners and it's a very good, fine group of experts and uh, um, people who serve on that. And as I said previously, I think Mr. Kurt Kiro, you had made yeah. the motion? And yes, so second. And seconded by Mr. DeCourcy and it was a unanimous vote by the board. So. Thank you, congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you, working with you. Did you wanna? No, I just wanna say, I, I had the opportunity to have coffee with uh, Mr. Saneja uh, probably a month and a half or two months ago, and um, um, I think the enthusiasm, you're right, Madam Chair, come, comes through. I think um, bringing this type of perspective and this type of energy, I think, to the commission, I think it'll be very much welcomed there, so. Thank you very much right. for stepping forward and offering your time. Thank you. Okay. Thanks Great. for yeah. coming to our temporary spot. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have, have Bye -bye. Some good holidays. Um, Thank you. Same to address. Thank you. Bye -bye. Uh, we have agenda item eight for approval license renewals, contractor drain layer, class one, class two, class two non premise auctioneer, lodging houses, innkeepers. Secondhand dealer, public entertainment, automatic amusement, food vendor, common victualler, wine and malt beverages only restaurant, all alcohol restaurant, all alcohol club, theater license, all alcohol package store, sidewalk cafe. Is there a motion? Move approval. Moved by Mr. Hurd, seconded by? Second. Mr. Kira. Um, I have a, an amendment um, just to table one of the common victualler. Um, Entities and that's that's Wrangler Punjab at 444 Mass Ave. Um, I'd like to table that renewal until January 6th if, if the rest of the board is in agreement. Um, there seem to be some uh, remaining issues with the Board of Health that, that this, this entity is working on. I think um, those will probably be cleared up by January 6th, but it may be uh, um, good to put that one off. Will you take that as a friendly amendment? Yes, yes. Mr. Carroll's yes. motion, and was that seconded by Mr. Corsi, excluding the uh, Punjab Rangla Punjab? A uh, Rangla Punjab. Rangla Punjab, not to be confused with um, a long standing. Okay. So, on that motion, any further questions or comments? Just one Mr. comment. Corsi, um, yes. And this, this motion has nothing to do with, the, I know a year ago there was some issues before the board on, on, name, on the name of the entity. It has nothing to do with that. It's, right. it's other issues, so just to be clear. Thank you. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Um, I see our vice chair, Mr. Dunn, is just about here, so I'm just going to read the correspondence received. Punjab restaurant concerns regarding Rangla Punjab. Attorney John Leone, representing the corporation. Concerns regarding outside appearance at Arlington Liquors. Uh, Arlington resident Michelle DeRocha. Uh, a notice from our town manager, Mr. Chapdelaine. Um, is there a motion to move receipt? So moved. Moved by Mr. Kiro, seconded by Second. Mr. Hurd. Um, and as um, Mr. DeCourcy highlighted in our previous uh, agenda item, um, we do have a piece of correspondence that will give some information um, regarding our tabling. Um, any further questions or comments? Um, Mr. Kiro? Yeah, I think it's important to note that it, uh, attached to, um, alongside uh, Ms. DeRoche's um, correspondence regarding Arlington Liquors, there is a, um, a letter from inspectional services that, that they have uh, noticed the establishment um, that, that they do have some signage issues and maintenance issues to uh, to address uh, under threat of penalty. So uh, it would appear that this is already underway uh, as far as being addressed. That should be straightened out by January 6th. And will it be the select board's office or the Board of Health that will notify Ms. Dishrosha that you are? Okay. And we're joined by our vice chair, Dan Dunn. Um, thank you so much. Apologize to everyone for being late. So I saw that you called at 6, but I have, like, no memory. So <laughs> if you left a message, you didn't leave the message. So. I was saying I'm an ill wife. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, on correspondence received, motion by Mr. Carroll, seconded by Mr. Hurd. Is that correct? I forgot yes. to bring a pen. 
Any further questions or comments? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, unanimous vote. Post abstain. Uh, abstention, 401. Uh, new business, Mrs. Kropelka? Attorney Hine? No new business, thank you. Um, town Manager Chapdelaine? Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Just one piece of new business. Uh, just uh, today, we learned that our candidate for the Coordinator of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion uh, accepted the position. Her name is Jillian Harvey. Uh, we are very, very excited to have her coming on board. She's going to start on December 30th. Uh, she brings with her uh, a lot of experience working on these issues as well as a passion for the issues. So we'll bring her before the board to introduce you to her. Mm -hmm. I'll send around a copy of her resume so you can see it. But uh, I'm very excited. Karen Malloy is very excited. Christine Bongiorno is very excited. So um, it's, uh, I think it's very good news for the town. And obviously she is very vested in it if she's willing to start <laughs> with us so quickly. And, and I'm very appreciative of that. Yes, she, uh, she, she's actually immediately coming out of an academic program, so that's why she's flexible enough to be able to start. We, we made it very clear that it was start as soon as you can. Yeah. We'd love to have you. Last so. week. Thank you. Okay. Um, that's all I have. Mr. DeCourse? No new business. Um, Mr. Hurd? No new business. Mr. Carroll? Just like to wish all our residents a happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all blessings of the season. And a joyous Kwanzaa. Um, Mr. Dunn? Yep, I got one. Um, so nine years ago, about this time, I said I was running for selectman, and uh, I'm announcing that I'm not going to be seeking re-election this spring. Uh, I've really, really enjoyed uh, being a, a member of the select board, and uh, I'm really proud of, an, of a bunch of different things that uh, we as a group have accomplished, that the town as a whole has accomplished. Uh, but I can also say that uh, after doing it for nine years, um, I don't have this exact same uh, passion for it that I did. And in particular, I, uh, I think the thing that I've found myself lacking a little bit is patience. And that to me was the sign that I, I, uh, it was time to uh, let somebody else who, you know, give it a go. So um, I thank everybody for my for support. Uh, I mean, everyone who's ever voted for me, everyone who's ever worked for my campaign, the people who didn't work, vote for me and still kept me honest. And of course, all of my, uh, the people who in the town who have worked so hard for the town, who made it all possible, and of course, uh, my colleagues here. Thank you. Um, we have four months to <laughs> think of a lot of summary <laughs> remarks. A few more hearings, yes. a few more hearings um, to sit through, for sure. And, and I just want to very briefly, just because uh, before we came in, um, I attended the zoning board um, hearing um, regarding, among other things, Vonham Street, um, Oak Tree, UGARD development proposal. Um, we had the full uh, Zoning Board of Appeals. We had Attorney Hine. We had Attorney John Whitten. There were 80 to 90 people in this room um, with no amplification and um, really a little difficult to hear. So um, first I want to say um, I want to thank um, Attorney Heim, and I truly mean this, for his exemplary job of a room with such packed emotions on all three sides, one could say, um, and the fact that, you know, it was quite difficult to hear. Clarissa Rowe and I were down this end and we couldn't lean forward anymore, but um, at appropriate, at, at the times where I was getting frustrated because I'm like, I didn't hear that, I think that's really important. Tony Heim got up and in his booming voice um, explained what had just been discussed, what had just been voted on, what the next step would be. He, along with Attorney Wynn, but mostly Attorney Heim, outlined the process of what this meeting was, what future meetings would be, not only before the ZBA, but before CONCOM and other boards and commissions. I did get up and ask sort of a self-serving question um, to Gwen Noyes and, and Oak Tree developers. They have new um, engineer, same attorney, but um, I asked, um, regardless of the fact that under law they're required to meet with other boards, commissions, committee, um, would they extend the courtesy and agree to a meeting um, with the select board, even though it's not necessarily required? And they said yes. I just wanted to get it on the record. I discussed that with um, Mr. Chapelain. I will not, um, if, it, if the need arises while I am still chair, um, up until April, if uh, the town manager, town council, and attorney Whitten feel that that's the time for that meeting, then I will do that and place it on the agenda and have the appropriate um, agenda items. And it may be it's needed further down the road or maybe not at all. I just wanted to get it on. Mm -hmm. And I, oh, I also noted, because um, there was some concern by the audience members regarding 
um, since the board has changed over the years um, with the Mugar Oak Tree development, I let every, and I spoke very loud, I spoke even louder than this. Um, uh, I let everyone know that uh, Mr. DeCourcy asked when he joined the board that the board reaffirm its vote um, regarding the Oga, uh, Oak Tree Mugar development, that it was seconded and it was a, a unanimous vote and we steadfastly stand behind that position. And there was a lot of new people who had just bought houses um, down in uh, Mary Margaret Mott, as well as Calvin Manor, who were concerned about that, and that definitely allayed. Um, mm -hmm. And so I did reaffirm all of our uh, commitment, um, along with others. So I just wanted to, and, and uh, moving forward from tonight, I'm going to work with um, the town manager, town council, and Mrs. Kropelka uh, regarding, it looks like we have some openings on the zoning board, or we may have some openings or, or something that we need to fill. So, um, and that will, um, play itself out and we'll all receive correspondence on that process. So with that, if no one else has any more new business, I'll take a motion to adjourn by So moved. Mr. Carroll Second. seconded by Mr. Hurt. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed, unanimous vote. We will see you next year in 2020. Our next board meeting is scheduled for January 6th, 2020. Have a happy, safe new year. Thank you.